Hi YouTube, it's been five years since I did the video on how to make an amphibian conservation area in your back garden. In that five years we've seen a massive number of amphibious activity. We've seen frogs, toads, newts and I've got lots of footage of it. This year we've managed to breed so many common frogs we've now got hundreds of tadpoles in the pond. So join them in this video giving you an update. The pond has really evolved over the past five years partly because it has matured and become naturally established, but mainly because I have upgraded it using a number of different methods, which you can learn about in my next video, called How to Upgrade Your Wildlife Pond. About a month after building my pond, frogs started living in it. Common frogs come in a variety of different colours, and I have seen green, brown, blue and orange coloured frogs. A particularly proud moment of mine was this year when I managed to film frogs breeding in my pond. This is the amplexus phase, whereby the male clings to the female's back. The male was very well camouflaged, as his markings looked just like frog spawn. I was absolutely thrilled to see a newt in my pond. I had never before seen a newt in my local area, and so I was absolutely amazed. I was, however, surprised to hear that newts actually hunt tadpoles, and this is, it was eating my future frogs. This is nature though, and I had to just sit back and allow the ecosystem to do its thing. My favourite British animal has to be the common toad, and I was elated to see one in my pond. I also saw baby toads in my hugel culture, but unfortunately did not have my camera with me to take a picture of them. Hundreds of tadpoles hatched from the vast amount of frog spawn that was laid in my pond this year. I've been feeding them koi and goldfish flakes, which has seemed to bring them on leaps and bounds and helps their development. The local area should now have hundreds of frogs this summer. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notifications when I post a new video. The next one will show you how to upgrade your wildlife pond to make it look as good, if not better, than mine. 